But um, yep. where are we? We are in Folkestone, I think. Yeah, Folkestone Warren. Yeah, uh, I mean, <laughs> it took us three hours to get here from the station and the station's, what? Uh, a mile away, I think. Mile, just over a mile away. Oh, um, we're, we're, we don't get distracted whatsoever. Nope. Not definitely not on 250 photos already. Each, each, yeah. Um, we're professional, I swear. We, we, we're yeah. professional. Just we've um, our main focus has been that view currently. Every since starting down at the beach, that has been our main focus. So currently we are on top of this hill and by the end of this we plan to be over there. It's been 10 minutes. We haven't moved. Well, a few steps. It's, it's a 10k turtle hike but knowing us we're going to end up getting lost, getting distracted. It's still boat. Hello Benji. Such a cool view. How's it going? It's taken us an hour to go up for, I don't know, 400 meters? I would say we started over there, but you can't see over there. Yeah, yeah but I, so. I wish I was joking, it was an hour to 400 meters. We're doing great so far. We've barely moved. Okay, so this is kind of why I like photography. Yeah. So we're just kind of walking around and Peter here has just stopped us and asked for some photos and well he's now going to take us up the hill because he's got like this spot he wants to shoot a video at so. with Benji because um, it's much easier than going in and out of my bag also he asked me to we met these two lovely people Alex and Georgina and we found out a lot about them so uh, Georgina is the Folkestone mermaid which we walked past and never realized we haven't seen it and Alex is uh, the Folkestone, Folkestone bell, bell ringer yeah. and we've been talking to him for a, at least an hour, hour. Yeah. yeah and my god it's been amazing yeah Folkestone, like just thank you for having us <laughs> thank you for having us Folkestone me and Benji are having an amazing time as you can tell with Benji who's spamming his uh, shutter <laughs> he can't stop and we've still got a fair bit to go um, so we're trying to get to the tree swings and that's where we're going to turn back um, so the tree swings we have to currently cross this train track and which is further up and then we come back on ourselves and then we should be there hopefully on the way back we will see the folks the mermaid because it is it's an incredible story that we've heard so far but um hope to learn about it more and we'll keep you guys updated Right. Alex and Georgina, thank you so much for taking us, yeah, truly. Uh, leading us the way. Um, I think they're somewhere over there. Yeah. Because we've got to walk up a fair more, like a fair decent bit, and come back over here. So, from what we've seen on the map, it should be somewhere also, that way. I'm really sweaty, and I probably stink. So it's Sam. Oh, uh, you're fine. You're fine. I smell. <laughs> Another update. 
we have walked up, I can't show you properly, but currently walked up a very steep hill. I mean, we made it. We're coming up to the bridge, um, which we're crossing and we're gonna head back down over that way. Not very good uh, angle. Now it's up the stairs. And just look at that. If you can get a train coming through, that would be amazing. We're making it. We're making it. It's only when you get, it's only when you get out of the end. <laughs> this is what we came here for. Yeah. yeah. If nothing else, you yeah. We're not even photographers. We just wanted someone to show us where the rope swing was. <laughs> this is all we came here for. <laughs> They're not even cameras. They don't even take photos. <laughs> it's actually quite cool. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really nice because we've been in the sun all day, and then when you're on that, you get a really nice breeze. Look, he can't stop now. Oh, never mind. He can stop. Eventually. It's fun. Being a trek. Almost at the top. Got a beautiful view. I mean, we were, we were just down there. Just two seconds ago. I'm not sure if you can see just like that tent just there, but. That's where we got a few yeah, about, of the train coming past. Yeah, about half an hour ago. We were just there and we've walked all the way up. And I mean, I'm not sure if you can see it. But just in the horizon line over there is uh is Beloy and Calais in France. But yeah, we started nice. off our day round about there, and now we're here about seven hours later. But all right, guys, I hope you're enjoying this journey as much as we are because honestly, it's been amazing. Um, and we hope to do more stuff like this. Just every week every few weeks when we get the time sort of away from uni away from work or well, benji away from work um we hope to get out and around just exploring places like this places we've never been before and see what we can get see the kind of things we can get we have a beautiful view i'll show you in a second from the entire path of where we've come from and Look at it, it is absolutely stunning. Never did I think I'd be walking up a cliff. Honestly, seeing this and being here, it really is just, I don't wanna say, I don't wanna say amazing again. No, I just like, I just love photography. Let's go. <laughs> so I think we've met about I don't know, six or seven so, people today. Yeah. So Peter, Joanna, Joanna and, Ray. and Ray, Alex and Georgina, and then Nick. and then Nick as well. We did have two others at the start of the day on beach chairs, but we, we didn't, we didn't get, get the names. names of, from, I we'll put the photo up there on the screen. I completely well. forgot. Yeah, we did have one person who. We asked and they didn't let us, but that's that's all that right happens. though. But like, it it's happens. nine times out of ten they say no. But like, apparently, if you come to Folkestone, everyone says yes, and they're more than oh, happy to. Yeah, I've set one person, but apparently, if you ask the right, people, the right people, you'll end up well having a four hour, five hour tour with them. So it's quite nice. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> Six hours later and shattered. 700 odd photos. Well, each. Well, each. Yeah. Jesus. So. And um, quick hair update. Uh, it's not as bad now, but it's not doing good. Yeah. And can we appreciate can the we fact that our cameras are complete, like, <laughs> who's is who's? One's new and one's uh, not. Yeah, well. 
<laughs> Old Faithful. Um, yeah, so we have one more objective, and that's to find... The mermaid. The folks, the mermaid. The folks, the mermaid. Because Who... we found the real one first, somehow, and, and yeah, we I missed know. the the one, the statue. Yeah, and I mean, we found the original. We're going to try complete this last objective. And We're not leaving. Mermaid. We're going to find the mermaid. That and go mermaid. to that warship as well, because that is a warship as well. decent looking warship. But we will see you when we find it. See that that is the mermaid. We finally found it. We finally found her. I mean, granted, we did also find like find her earlier. But yeah, we technically found. And then her first. we also had uh, her take us on a tour around, folks. Free tour. So I think, I think we yeah, today's been one. a successful day. I'll put up both of our photos on the screen and. I mean, it's... I think they definitely do it justice. Yeah, yeah, I think so. What's her Instagram? It's the Folkestone Mermaid, I believe. Folkestone Mermaid 3D. Uh, because yeah, 3D. she it's also a... sells 3D printed little models of her, which you can go ahead and buy yourself from Etsy or her um, from a shop just in the creative quarter as well. So, we're back. It's a week later, and I've had a haircut for obvious reasons. I've changed my hat for no reason at all. Uh, but we've had a lovely time, and that's yeah. for sure. I mean, like, I mean, how did you find folks in Israel? Honestly, it was amazing. Like, there were so many people there. I mean, it was a long day, however... A long day, that's an understatement. 11 hours, and we did a, what? 13, 13 miles. Mile hike. Yeah. yeah. But, it was great. It, I just, I don't want to keep saying amazing because I've said that throughout the whole video. It's tiring. It was really so tiring. I'm carrying 10 kilograms yeah. of camera gear on my back for 13 hours on that, what was it? I think it definitely wasn't an accurate representation, but 71 floors on our own health app. Yeah. But along the way, we met so many different people, so many lovely people, and it's such a different dynamic from London, and I love it. Oh, it's fantastic. On, really it was brilliant. amazing. But we have one more thing. We're going to look at the photos. Should we get to the photos? Let's get to the photos. So for my first photo, I chose this photo of Peter. And it was kind of hard because there were so many photos of Peter that I got and I loved all of them. But for this one, I chose where he's standing in this position because it's, I, can I can just see it on a magazine. You know? So for my second image, I chose this one off the beach because I love the composition of it and the gradient in the sky, like with the two children in the bottom left corner and so much negative space, it's just, it's stunning. And for my last photo, I decided to pick, choose this picture of Zar. Um, I was torn between two. I was torn between the landscape one and the portrait one, however I ended up going with the landscape because there's a lot more depth to it and it's a lot more in focus than the other one. And I mean, like, I feel like he's got more character as well. Yeah. Because it's just, the eyes are so much more vibrant. Yeah, and he's just, well. he's such a beautiful dog. That's yeah, all I can say. Dog, so. so, I'm just going to start off with my absolute favourite photo of the day. And it's this one, just of the beach cove. And you see all, like, the birds flying around, and it's just, yeah, I, I really can't describe what the, I like. The colours are so vibrant, it's... It yeah. looks like a different country altogether. I barely edited that one as well. That's just straight from camera. Straight from camera. Yeah. Golden hour. It's great. Okay, so now for my second photo, it's of, it's actually called the thumb. And this is a massive chalk rock on like one of the side of the cliffs. But just the composition of this photo alone with the two people on the left hand side of the image. And it just, I, I, it just flows, it just really works. and. I mean, again, the colours... And the high contrast lighting actually works really well. Usually I mean, you don't overexpose images, but it works so nicely in there. So, for my final image, it's quite sentimental between the two of us, really, because it's of the folks, the mermaid, who, as we've said previously in this video, is Georgina, who took us on that 
five and a half hours. Amazing hour. trip. Oh, and like, I mean, she made the day. She made the day. And just going back to the photo real quick, like just with the composition with the mermaid looking over the child, it's almost like protecting him as he's going towards the sea. And it's just, yeah, it's, it's really lovely. It's such a sentimental value to it, especially now because we've just had such amazing time at this place. We, we know her. We know like, her, and like it's we're like I, like we're now friends with like her. Exactly. It's just it's absolutely amazing, and the folks in Belringer and with the folks Alex in Belringer. Being... That, that is impressive. We did try. Yeah, we tried, and we. It right. was pitch black though. Uh, so here's our photos up on the screen now. <laughs> um, as you can tell, they are our fate. We're getting these printed on A1 glass. It's yeah, fantastic. But our love to Folkestone. It was an amazing yeah. trip and we'll be back in the future we'll be back yeah anyway guys that's all we have for today until next time until next time